Well, uh, if you didn't know before you came in, you know that uh, Tanglefoot originated from doing traditional music. Now, the only traditional song that, uh, songs that we still cover are French Voyager paddling songs. Now, this next song is not a traditional song, but rather a tribute to the Voyager. And the idea from this, for this song came back to me in 1999. Because you see, folks, that was my very first year with Tanglefoot. And well, being a southern Ontario boy, well, I was pretty pleased to join a group that would take me right across the country and through the United States and over to Great Britain. And they said, Terry, for your very first tour, we've got a wonderful festival lined up for you. We're going to take you out to Festival de Voyageur, which is a celebration of French culture. But they didn't tell me they'd be taking me to Winnipeg in February. <laughs> single malt scotch, which I did, and I proudly presented to the fellows in the hotel room. But it was at that point that I discovered that all these guys at Tanglefoot, well, they're nothing but a bunch of teetotalers. <laughs> they took their polite little wussy sips, and I grabbed my bottle of scotch, and I stashed it back in my car. <laughs> now, we had a wonderful time by the festival, and Joe Grant uh, and I started working on this next song. And Joe was full of some fascinating information about the Voyageur. He said, you know, these guys often had two wives. They had their city wife, a woman that they probably married in Quebec. But as they traveled the riverways west, well, they often married what's referred to as the country wife. Now, the country wife, more often than not, was an Indian woman. In fact, it's the marriage of French and Indian blood that created the Métis race. Something else Joe told me was that these guys wore these huge belts, the scent de Vache. And the reason they wore them more than anything else was to prevent hernias. Because believe it or not, folks, hernias were the number one thing that killed these guys from carrying those huge canoes over vast portages. Of course, fellas, you realize that the number two cause of death was when the city wife found out. <laughs> Now I'd like to speak, Steve, bring up the house. Now I'd like to, I want to, I want to speak to the gentleman in the room here. I want you to look around, survey your male neighbors at random, and breathe in that image. That's dumb. Yeah, that's enough. It's funnier in some parts of the house than in others. Now, now I said to Joe, I said, Joe, why didn't these guys just drink some alcohol? I mean, wouldn't that have been a little less personal? He says to me, no. You know what happens if you drink alcohol in the cold, folks? It lowers your body temperature, and you're far more likely to freeze to death. So here we were, Joe and I, driving back to southern Ontario after Festival. And we're driving what's called the Northern Route. That's that stretch of road north of Lake Superior between the towns of Nipigon and Mercer, where there's over 100 kilometers of nothing. Nothing but snow and trees and rock. And I remember it so clearly, it was a beautiful night for driving. Nobody on the road. Joe and I were working on this next tune. But somewhere along that route, we both realized that my gas gauge was less than a quarter tank. And our conversation stopped. <laughs> and you know, those Voyager images I was just telling you about. <laughs> I decided right then and there, if worst came to worst, that bottle of scotch wouldn't be so bad after all. <laughs> we got a good song out of it, it's called Dance Like Flames, and it's the title track from our last CD. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, 